So we often get questions regarding the batteries and the mileage when it comes to our electric scooters. So I just wanted to sort of give you a rundown video on basic battery management and battery health and offer some hints and tips on extending the range of your e-scooters, especially in colder months. So first off, I wanted to talk about batteries. Now, when it comes to batteries, especially lithium ion batteries, the one thing is that they hate the cold weather. It's not just with our batteries, it's also with every electric car, such as like Teslas, any other brand like that. Batteries hate the cold weather. And especially in the winter months, it's not uncommon to see your range halved, especially if it's sort of like, you know, one or two degrees like it is today, super cold day, you're gonna see the range of these scooters and any electric vehicle at least cut in half. So something like the P1 with a rated range of about 30 miles, you're gonna see maybe a range of 15 to 20 miles, depending on use. And it's really just a case of managing that and understanding it and planning ahead for it. So for instance, if you know you're gonna do a long trip tomorrow morning and you know it's going to be cold it might be a good idea to keep your scooter inside you know somewhere that's warm somewhere that's going to keep the battery warm all night so you're ready to go in the morning that's going to extend the range of your battery by quite a bit so that's actually one of the things we recommend is uh, if you can try and keep your e-scooter inside where it's warm and dry at all times if you're leaving it outside in the shed and it's not that well insulated and it you know drops to like minus one minus two degrees overnight your battery is gonna get really, really cold and it won't be able to retain its charge for as long. So we recommend keeping them somewhere warm and dry, at least somewhere that's room temperature. That's the sort of level that the batteries operate the best at is about room temperature. So if you can keep them somewhere where it's gonna stay at around that sort of level, that's really good. But as spring and summer comes around, you're gonna see that you'll get more mileage out of your scooters as, like I said, the batteries like that warm weather. It's really hard to determine the range of a scooter because it, it depends on so many different factors and it varies from person to person. So things like weight, your riding style, things like temperature, which I mentioned earlier, even things like wind, that can affect range, uh, elevation, so many different things can affect how many miles you get on a single charge. The one tip that I will give out in regards to maximizing range is to turn on regenerative braking on your P1. Now, I'll link a video somewhere at the top on how to do this, but what this basically does is turn your braking into kinetic energy, which feeds back into the battery. So instead of it being wasted, when you pull the brakes ever so slightly on the P1 with regen braking turned on, it'll actually feed the energy back into the battery and making it more efficient. So that's one tip that I do recommend in getting the most range out of your e-scooter. Not all of them have this feature, but the P1 especially, that does have it. So it'll be worth turning that on and just getting used to how it feels and how it operates. A couple more things regarding the P1. Uh, we've had a few people asking about the play in the handlebars. Um, in the folding mechanism, when they're opened up, there's like a little bit of play. That's totally normal. Uh, nothing needs to be tightened, so don't worry about that. That is literally just the play inside the folding mechanism. So that's totally normal. No need to worry about that. And also the play with the folding mechanism at the bottom of the P1 as well. Again, that's totally normal to have a bit of play when it's unfolded. But when you fold it into place, that play should go away. So hopefully that clears that up as well. So I think that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. And if you had any questions regarding this video or anything that I've been talking about, please get in touch at hello at solarscooters.co.uk. We'll happily answer any questions you may have. So with that out of the way, have a great day.